Hey guys, um, I know I'm supposed to talk about the whole relationship thing, you know, whether I want to be in a relationship or if I just want attention, but I wanted to talk about this first and I promise that will be my next post. Um, I woke up to a conversation and long story short, someone was arrested. So when I inquired why this person was arrested, the person who was telling me the story was like, you know, it has to do with his lifestyle and in his line of work, which is not your quintessential nine to five, he doesn't clock in or what have you. He is basically one of the people's industries, so to speak, right? So I was like, well, what exactly did this person do? And he began to explain to me, I was like, oh, so he should be in jail. You did a crime, you got caught, you got to jail. That's what it is. Hopefully you get rehabilitated. Hopefully you decide that, you know, your life is worth more than sitting in a, what, four by four cell? I really don't know how big a cell is these days. But that was your choice. So I'm trying to explain this to the person who was telling me the story and they got upset with me because I don't agree with their viewpoint. And then it just made me think about people who go for this, you know, free my friend, free my brother, and their brother or their friend committed a crime. It, it just, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, if I walk up to you and you're like, you know, free my friend Kyle. Oh, well, what did Kyle do? Nothing big. He just participated in a drive-by where six people ended up dead. I mean, he may or may not have pulled the trigger, but he doesn't deserve to spend the rest of his life in jail for six murders. What? So you're telling me that because he's your friend, he doesn't deserve to go to jail even though he just committed six acts of murder? Like, he doesn't deserve his punishment? It's just okay to go around shooting people up or committing random crimes against humanity, against people... And that's cool because we're friends and you don't deserve to be in jail because you're my friend. You sound foolish. People like that are so freaking ignorant. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, it really, really upset me. Not only because the person I was talking to just seemed really, really ignorant, but because I just woke up. And I didn't want to have this conversation when I just woke up. I wanted to be cool, calm, and collective. But now I'm upset because that was a dumb comment. And I had just woken up. It, all right, I just feel like I'm going off on a tangent, and I really don't mean to. But, I mean, I'm just saying, if you commit a crime, and I'm not saying that I agree with the jail system. I'm not even going to get into how I feel about the jail system. But if it's supposed to rehabilitate you, if it is set up to help you rectify your crimes and gain closure and make better choices in your life, then why not do it? I'm not saying that that's what it does. But it's what it's supposed to be. So if you commit a crime, you, you know, you deal with your punishment. And then there will be like, people will be like, well, you know, I didn't have no choice growing up. And this is what I had to do. No, you had a choice. Everybody has a choice. You chose to go out in these streets every day instead of applying yourself to something else. You chose to sacrifice your children having a father or a mother because that's what you want to do. You were too wrapped up in your own life to help someone else. It just, it doesn't make sense. So I'm not saying that this person should or shouldn't be in jail, but if they committed a crime and that's what's dealt to them, then take it. For everybody to say, oh, you know, free my man in prison. If your man committed a crime, then maybe that's what he deserves to be. Instead of running around screaming, free this, free that. Oh my God, he doesn't deserve what he's getting. Why don't you, why don't you do something better with your life so that you don't end up in that situation? That's all I have to say.